Welcome to Center Athletics Forsk in the Soda in the Rowdy Bloodstained Thunderdome. The fans have already moved on from drinking beer in cheap plastic cups to drinking ale and freshly harvested skulls. I, for one, am glad the broadcaster's booth is an old World War III bunker. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Los Scandalous Volts go up against the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV oh, and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there, but other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. Six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And that'll be second down and four. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third and two. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. That was a good throw, and assuming he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. Welcome to the Groin Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take a double Roy burger, large Roy fries, and a big Roy gulp. Uh, anything else? Yeah. And he's off to the races. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just made a nice cut to avoid the saw. But the saw just made a better, cleaner cut to the ball carrier. And it's first and ten. Throw. That sonic blast. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Yeah, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. That's a 
killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Man, what a hit that was. Third and two. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Hey, man, I was hanging on the now. Oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It's good. You got to be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grim, hide the stash. On it. Man, these guys have... And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, grip, but it keeps coming back to him. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. <laughs> oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and two. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third and two. But he drove out of the field in a brand new hearse. That 
marks the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Third down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Don't worry. If he shocks you to death, maybe... Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. The 30. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown. And he rumbles that one in the end zone. Nicely done. You understand me, Junior? I wreck your world. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four yard pick up there. Second down and six. And they just popped his eyes into the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting or dead. Yeah, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> warming up oh great tackle when his brain is unscrambled he'll be thinking about that hit yeah most likely in a convalescent home they get ready for the kick this isn't a gimme Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Someone's face. This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in your hand. I'm talking to you. Second down and ten. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. It looks like the lineman wanted to give the ball a high five. That he did, Bricks. That he did. 
Third down and ten. And he runs it for four yards. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm crib. That cross stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburner. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Yeah, they're all in politics, apparently. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's two minutes left in the half. I can't wait to the halftime show. And it's first and ten. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. They stunt the clock with their first timeout, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First down and three. This guy's a brick shit house, and they run it for a couple of yards. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Third and two. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling... And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill... I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. On to that one for a first down. And it's the quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First and eight to go. QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, can I kill a 
down. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Yo, man, nobody can touch with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? They're going for two points. And he finds his target for two. Looks like someone uploaded some new dance moves. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Mid run is good for ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Boom! Second down and seven. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe with a headache. Third down and three. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The 
kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, oh, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. I got to get him out. Get him. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. Third down and, well, good luck. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow, and he's got a chance for a good return here. one's gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten oh man talk about running into a buzzsaw bricks okay he just ran into a buzzsaw Second down and two. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. several occasions not surprising multiple times on each occasion not surprising and trust me that hit was worse maybe the qb should throw it and catch it too second down and ten It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. First and eight to go. My friends, was an all pro NFL hit.
The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. The punishing hit. And that'll be second down and four. The quarterback Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Third down, and the punter is warming up. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. Yeah, it's still edible, though. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now and his... Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And this guy is super... Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Briggs. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Second down in a very lot. got crushed <laughs> and 
And it's first and ten. Looks like my wedding night. There was a big explosion, and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? Second down and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First down and five. Seriously, man, if you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. The Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, but this is different. Trust me, it's very different. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 10. And that is caught for a first down. And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got Grim. Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. And this is a first and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. And a nice pass for a 10-yard gain. Uh, it's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Third down and long. Nicely done for a first down. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down and smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. I like this. They're going for 
two. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Pig's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets... Oh, he was hitting mid-hurdle and fumbles the ball. And like Bricks' is bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 30. The 20. The 10. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork, though, than me, on a kind of not clenching and kicks, though. <laughs> You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. First and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a... Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And defense calls its final timeout. Good. I got to run to the John. That means I got to deal with that grubby little bathroom attendant again. Always pushing his lifesaver's dirty cone, hairspray, cheap cologne on me. Hey, I'm here to take a crap. Not that ready for... Oh, with a brutal hit. The Mutant Eaters go home hungry and defeated today. The home team comes up two points short and a real heartbreaker. It was also a backbreaker, a kneebreaker, and a neckbreaker. What, with the Quaker, the Baker, and the Candlestick Maker? What are you, three years old, you fucking simp? He's got a point, Bricks. Let's take it down to the MVP. I'm a Askewon Shimmo. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy. <laughs>